Hi everyone. So here is a big announcement. Uh, the exam and the program that you all were waiting for, that is TISNET and TIS programs. So the dates are announced. So TISNET application uh, dates are announced. And uh, in this particular video, I'm going to give you all the information about not only TISNET exam and the last dates, but also about the programs that you can target. What is the application process? What are the cutoffs? and uh, what is the eligibility criteria so let's understand everything step by step so as you can see uh, you know in the background this is the testnet website uh, let's talk about the programs first but before that i'm sure you must have seen in the thumbnail the exam testnet exam for 2022 is going to be conducted on 26th feb and uh, the last date to apply is 7th feb so make sure that you all have applied over there now let's quickly understand what are the programs so tata institute of social science it's a big college i mean there are so many programs they call the programs master of uh, arts or master of science kind of program but uh, we are going to look at the management program though they provide that ma degree but it doesn't make any difference so many students are confused about ma M mba mms pgdm and all guys remember the simple thumb rule as long as the college is reputed if you pursue a management program from that college uh, it will carry equal value irrespective of what degree are you getting whether it's ma or MBA or PGDM and all right so if I talk about uh, the this campus so they have this uh, four campuses that is Mumbai, Turjapur, Hyderabad and Guwahati let me quickly tell you the management programs that uh, most of the MBA aspirants are targeting are being conducted or are run at the Mumbai campus uh, earlier they started a couple of programs at Turjapur campus but uh, then they have closed that so as of now if you select the Mumbai campus you will see various programs at the Mumbai campus in that uh, you know various colleges rather for example school of education school of development studies school of habitat studies so all these are separate campuses actually you can say they are separate colleges in that uh, the program that you are looking for are uh, in as part of school of management and labor studies so let me click on that school of management and labor studies so you will see five programs over here um, to get more details about that program the fees and all so you can click on view details uh, but the programs are MA HRM um, if you are interested in human resource management this is one of the program uh, that you can look forward to I mean it is definitely at par with I am Ahmedabad and XLRI program very few students uh, I have seen are aware about the value of this but those who go there you interact with them and you'll understand that they follow uh, some unique methodology for example human interaction lab is a very nice concept of this uh, if you have any friend over there you can just talk to them and understand what is this human interaction lab or you can just google about that but yes uh, i personally feel that they add great value to your learning and to your life and that's the reason that uh, students over there are able to grab really amazing opportunity the only challenge is number of seats number of seats are very less for example this year for hrm program there are about 68 seats and for all other program there are 30 34 seats okay so coming back to the point these are five campuses right please be very clear about this hrm program uh, these are five programs rather at uh, this particular campus school of management and labor studies then uh, labor studies and practice very few students would be interested in that uh, it's like master of social welfare uh, okay then uh, master of uh, science self finance okay this is again a different program this is analytics master of science analytics program sorry uh, then this this is again a very nice program odcl organizational development change and leadership program so this is again a very nice program uh, the only thing is that is a work experience criteria so for example if you look at the students at odcl program the average work experience that they have is about three years if i'm not wrong so yeah if you have work experience you are eligible for that program and uh, of course social entrepreneurship is also a very nice program of this so to uh, to get into any of this program you need to clear this net exam and then there is this mat exam and then there is opi that is online personal interview so these are the stages so let's understand that one by one so what is the eligibility criteria so we here on this page they have mentioned the eligibility criteria it's very simple i mean the regular eligibility criteria that you see apart from that for odcl program there is a separate criteria that is you need to have a kex so you can visit their website and you can get the complete idea there are so many programs so it's a very detailed document 
what i'll suggest is you can directly click over here view more details and you can get idea about the program now let's talk about the selection process guys so selection process is the same as it was last year right i mean uh, just to get some more views i will not create the thumbnail here are the changes and these surprises and all that it's the same okay 100 minutes 100 question paper uh, it has the typical uh, distribution of question the higher weightage is of gk question about 40 questions are of uh, general awareness and general knowledge so that is the make or break section for this and uh, yeah first stage is you need to clear this disnet exam second stage they haven't mentioned over here but they call it online assessment oa so if you look at further they have mentioned something called oa ticket this oa oa stands for online assessment which is nothing but this mat exam okay so you'll have to clear this this mat exam and uh, so but then that comes only when you have cleared the first stage so what was the cutoff last year let's quickly understand that so let me show you uh, a PPT but before that guys uh, in case if you're new to my session this is once again a bit about myself so my name is Ronak Shah and this is uh, my telegram group so please stay connected uh, the link has been provided in the description I teach this subject in fact I have started a series for uh, snap cement and testnet preparation because all these exams have almost same level of difficulty questions right so please keep attending my sessions every day at 6 pm over here on youtube as well as on unacademy learning app so tomorrow i'm conducting it on unacademy learning app so please join me over there it's completely free and uh, in case if you download the unacademy learning app unlock it with my coach uh, ted so guys uh, here is a scorecard of one of the students from last year uh this 2021 and uh, he got some 73 marks okay he was from general category and in the mark sheet itself they have mentioned the cutoff so last year the cutoff was 68 marks for the first uh, second stage selection you had to get 68 marks in tisnet exam historically if you look at the cutoffs have been hovering from 68 to 72 sometimes the cutoffs have gone as high as 71 72 uh, in few years it have been as low as 67 68 so this is something that you need to secure right okay <clears throat> guys before we go ahead just want to quickly tell you in case if you are targeting cat 2022 please join my plus batch uh, that has just started use my code chart and when you go for uh, an academy subscription and here are the subscription plan for your quick reference this is iconic subscription where you get one-on-one -on -one mentoring and one-on-one -on -one doubt solving and guidance and all so please go for that these are the url from where you can access my free sessions so you will find plethora of uh, free sessions over here um, you will find lecture notes and all so please explore both these links now let's come back to the disnet application part so guys uh, as i mentioned first stage is disnet then there is tismet and then the third stage is online personal interview and based on that you will be finally selected so this is the complete selection process uh, talking about uh, if i look at the ma hrm program guys so here you are given few details you can check that fees and everything are provided on this page right complete fees and everything are provided over here uh, so please explore that further and if you want to apply to this program so just click here click apply so this kind of page will open up and um, like i'm sure you have registered for cat and snap and other entrance exam so process is almost similar you need to create your id and then you need to apply the only thing is it is conducted in a single window uh, this year it is going to be conducted across 40 cities in india once again just to quickly tell you guys the last date to apply is 7th feb so don't wait for last date and uh, the exam is going to be conducted on 26th feb uh, if I'm not wrong, last year also it was conducted somewhere around 16th or 18th of Feb. So this is the standard timeline at uh, uh, you know of uh, this uh, particular process, and you will get your results somewhere in the month of March, and then the further subsequent stages of selections are carried out. So I hope that you would have found this video very useful. Please don't forget to like uh, this video and please share it with your friends if you have any query. Please post it in the comment section and I'll help you out with that. Uh, before I wind up, let me quickly uh, take up some queries. So some students are asking, Paritoshi is asking HRM and LR. Achha, ye kisi ne pura ID create kar diya, Ronak sir hai to tisnet pakka hai sir, GK ki preparation self study se kaise kare? Okay guys, for GK, something is coming up, please stay tuned in my group. Thik hai, mein itta bata sakta hu, aapko baaki information group mein mil jayegi, please. GK ke liye something is coming up okay yes uh, 
सर टॉप कोर्सेस टू अप्लाई ऑफ कोर्स एच आर एम इज गुड बट गाइज ओडीसीएल एंड एनालिटिक्स एनालिटिक्स इज ऑफ कोर्स इन बस बट एट टिस्ट इट इज अ न्यू प्रोग्राम बट ओडीसीएल इफ यू हैव अ एक्सपीरियंस गाइज ओडीसीएल इज अ प्रोग्राम दैट यू मस्ट लुक फॉरवर्ड टू टू ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स हैव गॉट इन टू टिस ओडीसीएल प्रोग्राम विद वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इन लास्ट फोर ईयर्स एंड बोथ ऑफ देम हैव गॉट पैकेजेज ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेंटी लैक्स ठीक है एक स्टूडेंट का तो मैंने इंटरव्यू भी किया था मेरा लास्ट ईयर का वीडियो देखोगे उसका कोलगेट में प्लेसमेंट हुआ था सो so, बहुत ही अमेजिंग प्रोग्राम है मेरे हिसाब से यू नो यू विल सी मैच्योर क्राउड ओवर देयर रिसेंटली ओडीसीएल के स्टूडेंट्स ने एक सेमिनार भी किया था अपने चैनल पे राइट ओके अरे ये लाइव है भाई ये लाइव है आई एम लाइव आई कैन सी योर कमेंट्स एवरी okay so keep learning guys this is what i had to tell you before i wind up uh, just once again want to show you the url from where you can access my sessions that's it guys keep learning bye bye take care